Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a Tommy in its statue. Here are all of the materials that you will need to make your statue. Please do make sure that you have access to all those materials and enough of them as well. And now that we have all of our stuff, we can get started. Step one, we are going to place a row of eight light gray concrete in a row on the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On top of this, a row of white concrete. Left to right on top of this, a white concrete. Two black, one, two. Two white, one, two. Two black, one, two, and then a white. Then, for the row on top of this, we want to place light gray, ta light gray terracotta on top of the white concrete, and we want to place white concrete on top of the black concrete, like this. We then want to place eight rows of light gray terracotta on top of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And once we have filled in all of these rows, this will conclude the leg section. So we simply, with whatever method you would like, have to fill in all of those eight rows of light gray terracotta. We then need to do 10 rows of this sequence of blocks. It's three white concrete, one, two, three, two light gray concrete, one, two, and then three white concrete. And like I said, 10 rows of this. So this would be the first row. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And once again, however you would like to complete this, I think that maybe I'll do it this way. Maybe I'll fill in the middle, and then I'll just go left to right and I'll fill the white in between. However you want to accomplish this, it doesn't matter as long as all of this gets filled in. And this will be most of the torso once we have added in all of those rows. Next, going from left to right, we want to place two white concrete, one light gray, two white terracotta, light gray, two white. Finally, we want to place for the next row, two light gray concrete, four white terracotta, two light gray concrete. And there you go. That is pretty much the entire body portion of the build. Next, we have to do the arms. The arms are very simple. They extend from these two rows of light gray concrete that we have up at the top here. They want to be four rows wide, one, two, three, four. We want to use a row of red concrete. They want to be four rows down, one, two, three. So in total, we already have one. So we add three rows to it and we can extend these rows across as well to give us a four by four square. Underneath this, place a row of red terracotta. And then four rows of white, one, two, three, four. That is white concrete. And we can extend these rows across as well, just as we did with the red concrete. We then want to place a row of light gray concrete underneath, and then two rows of white terracotta. So that will give us this. Again, quite simple. I think I'm going to start on the opposite side this time, and we are going to start on the opposite end. So we're now going to place one, two, three, four white terracottas extending out of the opposite side of the body where we just finished. Place a row of white terracotta on top, a row of light gray concrete, four rows of white concrete, a row of red terracotta, and then rows of red concrete extending upwards. It should be four, it'll hit the top of the statue and you'll end up with something that should look like this. Next, we are going to come to the back and bottom of the statue and we're gonna extend the row of light gray concrete that we have here backwards by three rows. So that's one, two, three. On top of this back row, we're going to place not one row of white concrete, but two rows like this. And then we're going to make the rest of the back of the leg section light gray terracotta. 
So this light grey section is going to extend upwards and it is going to be even and level with the rows that we have on the front of the build. So where we stopped on the front, we do the same on the back. The body part of the back of the statue, we are going to place mostly white concrete. So we want to have 11 rows of white concrete in total. And then the 12th row, the very top row, so just keep an eye on this. Just keep placing rows of white concrete until you pretty much get all the way up to the tippity top here. And then finally place a row of light grey concrete like this. Then we have to do the arms. The arms are identical to the front of the statue. So all you got to do is make the arms the exact same place on the back and you just got to make them to the exact same dimensions so it should be rather easy all said and done easy peasy so that would be one and then we've got two what do we have to do after this it does seem as though that tommy is missing something i wonder what that could be i mean sure he's got no sides i mean that's a that's a big deal i mean his sides have literally fell out but there is also another big glaring issue is the fact that Tommy doesn't seem to have a head. So after we have done the front and the back, and here we go, you know, both of the sides, that looks very weird like that. We now want to connect these sides together. So we'll do this by basically just connecting the front and the back. You can see we've got white concrete on both sides here. So we'll join the white concrete together. We've got light gray uh, terracotta here on the sides. We'll join that together. We've got white terracotta here for the hands. We'll join that together front to back. And I think you guys might be seeing a theme whatever the material is on the front and the back simply join it together with rows in between and you really can't go too far wrong so do this all the way up to the top of the shoulder extend that across and there you go so that's that's the side of the statue you can see it just matches front to back it couldn't be simpler and we want to do the same thing on this side also so let's get this leg section done won't take us two seconds. Very, very simple skin. Light grey. I won't say light grey. Uh, light, light, white terracotta with light grey, with light grey concrete and then white concrete, red terracotta, red concrete to finish it off. I'm getting tongue-tied. This is getting difficult. There's too many syllables in these materials and it doesn't even matter because now we have finished the body which just of course leaves the head. So the head all the way up at the top of the body as you might guess and we want to place a terracotta row just right up at the top of the body like this on top of the left to right light grey concrete area. We extend the light, the white terracotta forwards like this, we want to extend it two rows so that overhangs the body by two rows. On top of the second row going from left to right, we place a white terracotta, white concrete, blue concrete, two white terracotta, light blue concrete, white concrete, white terracotta. We want to double up on that row so every single one of those blocks we can just extend up by one just like this. For the next row, we want to place yellow concrete on the ends of the row, black concrete on top of the eye parts, white terracotta in between, and then four rows, one, two, three, four, on top of the entire head section, so or on top of the eyebrows section. So basically the end result of which should just look a little bit like this. We want to place white terracotta extending backwards from the original row. This row of white terracotta wants to overhang the back of the statue by one row, to which we then want to place a row of yellow terracotta, or yellow concrete rather, in front of the white terracotta, with white terracotta on each end. And then all we're going to do is we're going to make the sides of the statue yellow concrete. If you like, you can kind of just soften this little front part here you can place a little white uh, terracotta just in the corners so that the gradient is a little bit you know so it so there's a bit of a gradient rather than just like a, a just a drop off straight into yellow and then we can just add all of these rows going around the top of the head 
Uh, we'll have to fill the top of the head as well in. And then we might mess the hair up on the front a little bit as well, just to make it a tad bit more realistic. And then that will be that. So one of the easier skins that you could make. And we want to place yellow concrete just up at the top here. Yellow terracotta is also a, a viable alternative. And if you want to mess up the hair just around, basically it's around the sort of like eye section here. So if you wanted to say like do one, two, three, four, and then maybe like just add a little bit just up above the eye, sort of like this. You could even go one step further, like you could drop it down here. You could sweep this over a bit more. You could have something that looked a little bit more akin to this. Like if you wanted to make it look a little bit messier, it's kind of up to you. Um... I'm just going to leave it, ah, well, I'll leave it like that. I mean, that's perfectly fine. And once you've finished, you will have a 100% fully completed statue. Very nice. So this is what your statue should look like once it has been 100% fully completed. Hopefully you guys have managed to make this statue. If you have, please remember to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, click that little bell next to the subscription button, the alarm bell, so that we can keep up to date with all of the videos that come out. If you want to check out anything else that I've made, check out the card system and the description below for all sorts of other playlists and of course the suggested videos for more. Thank you so much for watching everybody, I love you all very much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!